Here we have a 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado. In this video, we're going over the top engine problems for this vehicle. We're talking about the 5.3 liter or the 6.0 liter, which is pretty much the same engine with a couple little differences. These engines are great. They are pretty much bulletproof, but there's a couple of problems. So let's go through them. Oil pressure, the first thing you may notice is while you're driving down the road, the oil pressure gauge is either fluctuating or it doesn't go up at all. The oil pressure sender is in the back of the engine behind the intake. It's a little bit tricky to get to. You can get to it without taking the intake off, but it's much easier to do the job with taking the intake off. In most instances, it's just replacing the sensor that will fix it. There's also a screen below that that works like a filter. If that plugs up, that's gonna mess up your readings as well. So when you're replacing the sensor, replace that screen also. Now less common than the sensor itself is the oil pump. If you notice that it sounds like the engine's starving oil, the lifters are making a lot of noise, it probably means you need an oil pump. And that you have to lower the oil pan and the front cover, take the timing cover off to access it. Another problem is oil consumption. You may notice in between oil changes that you're having to add more oil than usual. It could be due to the valve cover on the driver's side. That's where the PCV system is, and if it's not working properly, oil's going into the intake and getting burned. The fix for that is pretty simple. All you gotta do is replace that valve cover with the updated one. One last thing, the knock sensors. Luckily, on this engine, the knock sensors are down below underneath next to the starter. You might have to pull the starter out to access this one and then one on the other side. The old ones used to be underneath the intake which it's a lot easier to access these ones. As far as symptoms when you have a bad knock sensor most of what you're going to see is a check engine light with a knock sensor coat. You're probably not going to see any drivability issues. These engines are extremely reliable. They don't even have a timing belt. They have a timing chain that nothing ever goes wrong with the timing chain on these motors. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.